level, if you will. And uh, I become happier. I really begin to participate in the whole movement. David Bohm's word comes to mind, holo movement. I become a participant of the total movement of consciousness, not just my individual very solipsistic movements that I'm familiar with. So my whole looking worldview, my whole looking of reality, my worldview becomes different, much more alive. Instead of playing in a small pond, or to use the baseball jargon, in playing in a sandlot ball game, we play in the bigger arena of the world itself. We become a citizen of the universe. How, how about, this has been always been confusing to me, how, how does social consciousness or the, play into all this? If I can create my own reality and I'm creating you, are you creating me or how do we end up creating each other? That's the, that's the whole point. So uh, the social consciousness is basic of it because the, the place from which I create, you and I become one. So I can look at your interest and you can look at my interest without any difficulty whatsoever because this individual selfishness, they just disappear. There is, it's just an illusion. It doesn't exist at that level. But actually, when you analyze this, then it's a little bit more subtle. Why? Because it is still this I that does identify, this individual that, that, that does identify, this I has to prepare the groundwork for that leap to that non-ordinary state that I sometimes call the quantum self. So this ego is important in that dance, in the sense that the ego has to prepare, and then when that leap occurs to the quantum self, and we have the great insight, the ego has to manifest that insight. So ego comes in at both manifestation stage and the preparation stage. And because of that, it's a dance of the ego and the quantum self both. We cannot disregard the individuality completely. You know, this is where spiritual traditions sometimes make a mistake. They think that God is everything, you know, their, their word for quantum self is God. God is everything, there is no meaning to the individual. So they denigrate the individual movement. It is both the movement of the individual and the movement of the whole. It cannot be otherwise. 